Don't worry, uh, news you've uh, extended your contract for another year and you must be really pleased with the way you've, the winter's gone for you and the way you've started the new season. Yeah, obviously pleased to um, extend my contract and like you said, have have a good winter and you know, a goal of mine was to go over there obviously and do well and you know, they say you reap the rewards of doing well and I guess this is a reward of having a good winter. We spoke before you went to India for the under-19 tour, I mean that couldn't have gone a lot better for you, could it? Yeah. Um, I mean, I you know you always back yourself to do well, but I mean, not not too many people. You know, I've, I think I exceeded my my expectations as well. You know, I always back yourself to do well, but you know, I've done better than I thought I'd do. To be honest, um, you know, the conditions were a bit tough, but it was nice to get runs in, in a place where they say it's quite hard to to do to do so. Yeah. yeah, it must have been great for you to sort of experience those different types of conditions as well, because obviously. Be different conditions over here, but sort of match situations and that sort of thing. You can bring that as part of your game. No? Yeah, definitely. Um, like you say, now the sort of match pressure of you know when you under pressure to 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 get runs or, or pull your team out out of a bit of a hole. But yeah, no, it was, it was a very good experience to to have that so young. Um, obviously, to see another country at, at such a young age and experience you know a new culture and stuff was was quite nice. Back at Hove now. And obviously another year to your to your deal as well, which gives you a bit more time to sort of try and cement a place in the, in the first team, I guess. Yeah, um, you know it's always nice to have that n another year on top, and you know not not so much pressure on you, but you know I'm feeling pretty good at the moment, and you know hopefully just can kick on from there really. Yeah, and obviously you've done a bit of training whilst you've you've been here. I know you've been away over the winter as well, and then then back with uh, the England nine teams. I mean. Um, and straight into these friendlies now as well, so it must be great to, to actually get outside and, and actually sort of play some cricket over here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, I, like you said, I've, I've been away obviously, but it's always nice to get back outside and, and back in England, and you know, especially when the sun, sun's shining and you're getting a bit of warm weather, it's always nice to um, you know strike a few balls outside and, and, and get dirty again out there. What's the the aim for you this season now? I mean, obviously you've you've sort of signed your your contract over the winter, and um, like I say, you, you know. You, you sort of increase your stock by doing well for the under nineteens. What what's the aim for you sort of Sussex wise? Um, I just want to play cricket really in the first team. Um, just try and play as many can games as I can and, and do as well as I can. Um, I think I've sort of I've started pretty well here in preseason. Um, you know, just been not unlucky, but I just feel you know I should have kicked on a bit more. You know, in these couple innings I've had so far, but you know I just want to play cricket for Sussex. Um, just try and play as many games as I can, really. And that's across all three formats, I guess. Yeah, um, I don't want to limit myself to to just one format. You know, it'd be nice to play all three, and you know, obviously experience um, the atmosphere of like things like T Twenty Blast, and you know, play play one day cricket would be very nice. But also, championship format is probably one of the better formats to play in. So I'd be really really keen to play all three. Yeah. We've got quite a young squad, but there's a few experienced players sort of coming in as well, a couple of South African guys, and, and obviously you've got people like Captain Luke. And How important is it for those sort of senior guys to sort of pass on the information to, to the young lads like you? Yeah, very important actually. Um, you know, over, these, over this last week or two, you know, I've spoke to some of them just about you know, how I've gone so far and you know, what they think I should be doing you know, in order to make sure that I'm in a really good place to hopefully be selected in the first first couple of games of the year and so yeah it's been it's been very good to have them on board and then like you said obviously having um, Dave Visa and, and Van Zaal coming over soon and, and obviously Philander is, is, is just adding more to the squad and more experience to learn from really.